All right, as I promised, as we said, uh, the Harlem Globetrotters are coming to Maui Friday, May 11th. And you got to get your tickets right now because they are on sale right now at the Mac box office. And here in studio is one of the uh, sharpshooters of the Globetrotters, the Harlem Globetrotters. Buckets Blakes. How's it, Buckets? Hey, it's going good. How are you? Hey, welcome to Maui. Oh, man, thanks for having me. So you just left the mayor at the mayor's office? Yes, sir. Did, and, uh, did he give you the key to the city? Um, I told him to hold on to it till I come back. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it. I don't want it right now because I'm not going to be here as, as long as I will when I come back to play. So I told uh, him to hold so- on to it. I'll come get that from you on the 11th. <laughs> Actually, the 10th. You know why? Because you asked for mine back. That's why I asked you. Oh, you yours. okay. You show, yeah, it, it's still nice and shiny, nice right? And shiny. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they went and they they uh, gone and made you a new one. Good, yeah, good, they good. They, they, they changed the locks on you. Awesome. Huh? Hey, Buckets, welcome to Maui, man. And we look forward to seeing you guys May 11th here at the War Memorial Gymnasium. Yes, we can't wait. You know, this is our uh, 2012 uh, World Championship Tour. This is our 86th consecutive season. Wow. Globetrotters have been uh, making people laugh and smile all over the world, and it's been long overdue yes, um, since uh, you know we've been here in Hawaii, so we can't wait. Not only that, you guys are going to see some great, great Globetrotter basketball. Um, out of uh, some words from Curly Neal in training camp a few years ago, he mentioned to us that you know, the Globetrotters of this era are bigger, yes. faster, and stronger. And uh, he said he can't believe how the ball handling has evolved, as well as how high guys jump this this day and age. Yeah. And um, he said uh, um, he looks at us and sees, you know, he's like, I look at you guys and he's like, I see greatness. Our scouts are doing a great job of finding future Globetrotters. Um, they're looking for three criteria. Uh, great basketball players, because you've got to be able to put the ball in the hole. True. Um, great athletes and, most importantly, great people. And uh, Curly told us, he was like, he said, I see it all now. I see you guys and, and do real well. He said, I'm still happy to be a part of this organization. So when you guys get a chance to see us, you'll see all that come out on the basketball awesome. court. Well, you said, you said it, the, uh, that last statement, you said uh, uh, good people. Yes. You know, the Harlem Globetrotters has always been known to put on a very good family oriented uh, good time. Definitely. And I, I remember when I was a young guy, you know what I mean, with Metal Lark and with Curly Neal and yes. all of these guys. I played ball when I was in high school, uh-huh. you know, and I always did like watching the Harlem Globetrotters, but we only got to see them on TV. But here they are, here on Maui, live. Definitely. A lot of highlight dunks. You're going to see some alley oops being thrown from all over the court. Uh, yeah. Definitely going to get a chance to see uh, some uh, tricks with the basketball done to the tune of Sweet Georgia Brown. <laughs> uh, as well as uh, that metal arc hook shot that you used yes. to watch. We got uh, Nate Big Easy Lofton being our metal arc lemon of this era. Awesome. Um, we got myself. I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records for my underhand shots from half court. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then we got uh, the first female in uh, TNT. 19- TNT. Yes, sir. She's explosive on the basketball court. That's what we call her TNT. Has a nice jump shot, and she can dribble like Curly. She does Whoa. a slide dribble. That's pretty amazing. Wow. As well as Jacob Hops Tucker. Man. He's a uh, uh, 5'10", has a 50-inch vertical, <laughs> won the NCAA Slam Dunk Championship last year in 2011. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Well, it's really nice to see that the Harlem Globetrotters is continuing on what they set up, as you said, 86 seasons ago. Yes. You know, and continuing on to do that. Even the getup is still looking still relevant to the back in the day, you know, the red, white, and blue. You know, and, you know. You know. Hey, hey, hey. There so, Buckets, what, 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 <laughs> what position you play? I'm a guard. You're a guard? Yeah, And you, yeah. what, 6'4"? Six, 6'2". Six, two. Six, two? I just look, I got a 6'7 wingspan. <laughs> I, sometimes you got to, you know, you got to you know, you gotta keep your arms in so they don't know that you're going to dunk on them. <laughs> but your personality is 10 feet, right? <laughs> there you, exactly, exactly. That's what I tell one of my teammates. Uh, his name is Jonte Too Tall Hall. He's 5'2". Five, 5'2". Two. Five, but two. he plays big. Right. You know. He's so, got a big heart, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we can't wait, you know. And the best thing uh, about... Um, you know, playing for the Globetrotters is people don't realize that they're making us laugh as much as we're making them laugh. <laughs> and, and and we're the most uh, accessible entertainment entity or most accessible professional basketball team out in the world. Not only do we visit 200 schools a season, 150 wow. hospitals a season, numerous boys and girls clubs, YMCA's and rec centers, um, but you can go to our website and read players' bios. But after every game, we sign autographs before we go into the locker room, so we get a chance to meet wow. our fans, too. How long you been with the team, Buckets? This is my 10th year. Your 10th year? Yeah. Wow, did you play yeah. some college ball beforehand? I went to University of Wyoming. Wyoming. Played in uh, Hawaii Invitational. 
Ah. And uh, uh, made the all-tournament team. Got a cool bowl. Sits in my office. Awesome. You know, keep them nice and, and, and dusted. Awesome. Um, and uh, the picture with the mayor that I took is going to go right next to it now. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, played in the CBA, the NBA wow. Developmental League. And really? I played in Europe before I became a Globetrotter. Well, I think you found your home right here at uh, the Harlem Globetrotters, my man. Uncle Tom Moffitt, who is joining us here. Who will they be challenging here? I, I didn't get the call. They Nobody called me. Oh, we haven't it, come up with it. No, it's oh. it's um, you know, we're not playing the Washington Generals anymore. Oh, I see. So yeah, we don't want to let the cat out of the bag. It's a new team. Okay. It's a newer since we haven't been here in a while. Right. We want them to see that uh, it's it's going to be one of two teams. I'll tell you that. Okay. Yeah, and they're not owned by the Globetrotters. They're their own separate organization. And the Washington Generals, uh, contrary to popular belief, was never owned by the Harlem Globetrotters. Ah. They're, they're, owned, they're owned by a guy named Red Klotz who actually played for them back in the day. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Washington Generals of because I've seen many of times how yeah. you guys wallop them time and yeah. time again. I think they won one game against the Trotters in 1971. Yeah, I but was, I wasn't born, so I didn't so, have nothing to so do with it. So wasn't I. You know, I didn't have nothing to do with it. So y'all, think, y'all talk to Curly. Three of us in this room wasn't born then, I can assure you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we'll be looking forward for you and your teammates to uh, be joining us. And the uh, people of Maui will be waiting for you on May 11th. As yes. you return back here, they call this island the Nokooi Island, which the means Nokooi Island, the best. We the are best. the best island, so the Nokooi yes, Island. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, we're gonna have to give y'all the uh, Nokooi performance. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we will settle for nothing less, yes. buckets. Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you, man. Well, man, you take care, buckets. We'll see you on May 11th, ladies and gentlemen. Better get your tickets right now because the pre-sale is at 22 bucks, 27 the day of the event. 242 show at MauiArts.org. Give my best to Curly Neal for me. I sure will. Y'all got the same haircut. I got to <laughs> let him know. Yeah. I wish I had the same skills, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bucket. No problem. Uncle Thank Tom, you. Aloha. Yeah. Thank you. Hawaiian Music Maui Style, KPOA. It is Aloha Thursday. We're going to take a short break. When we return, we have the music of Kino and French. KPOA 93.5 FM. KPOA 93.5. Hawaiian music that brings joy to our community.